In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Amen. Good morning to everyone joining us at home for Mass. Hoping you all well. I'm offering this Mass for Pauline Rotter. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. You shoulder the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. You open for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Romans. What I want to say now is no pretense. I say it in union with Christ. It is the truth. My conscience in union with the Holy Spirit assures me of it too. What I want to say is this. My sorrow is so great, my mental anguish so endless, I would willingly be condemned and be cut off from Christ if it could help my brothers of Israel, my own flesh and blood. They were adopted as sons. They were given the glory and the covenants. The law and the ritual were drawn up for them and the promises were made to them. They are descended from the patriarchs and from their flesh and blood came Christ, who is above all God, forever blessed. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. Responsorial Psalm. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. Praise, praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. Oh, praise, praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord gospel, gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Accept God's message for what it really is. God's message and not some human thinking. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Now on a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone for a meal to the house of one of the leading Pharisees, and they watched him closely. There in front of him was a man with dropsy, and Jesus addressed the lawyers and Pharisees. Is it against the law, he asked, to cure a man on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent, so he took the man and cured him and sent him away. Then he said to them, Which of you here, if his son falls into a well, or his ox, will not pull him out on a Sabbath day without hesitation? And to this they could find no answer. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. 
Friday, because it's a reminder of Good Friday, is traditionally a day of penance in the church. That's where the tradition of no meat on a Friday comes from, as a reminder that we're all sinners in need of God's grace. Denying ourselves meat on a Friday is a tiny reminder of the sacrifice that our Lord went through for our sake. In my experience, this awareness of all being sinners is decreasing. I've been hearing confessions for over 23 years now, and I regularly hear people say that it's six months since their last confession, but they think they've done only a few things wrong. Don't get me wrong, I'm always glad when people come to confession, because too few people do. But confession is meant to be about real change. We're meant to have what's called a firm purpose of amendment to change our ways. Nowadays, people come up with all sorts of reasons to explain their behaviour. It can be because of their childhood, or because of who they are as a person. But this won't cut any ice with God. Yes, he's merciful, but he's also given us the gift of free will, so we're free to choose how to live our lives. Today in the Gospel, the lawyers and the Pharisees were in the wrong because they hadn't examined their consciences preferring to take refuge in the letter of the law and not its spirit. As Christians, each one of us is called to change, to grow throughout our lives, only when we can honestly say that we're perfect as our Heavenly Father is perfect, something that's not going to happen in this life, can we let up in our efforts to live our lives as Christians. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lived and reigned for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home. Thank God bless.